Hi everyone, this is Suraj Bharat Gurle from ANH iSecure Private Limited. In this presentation, we are going to see about SAP Success Factor Source Integration with Identity Now. In this presentation, we are going to see about SAP Success Factors Integration Prerequisites, SAP Success Factors Configuration, and the Demo. For configuring the base URL for Identity Now tenant, we need to configure the API URL data center wise. The base URL will vary from data center to data center. In this block, I have provided the link for API for SAP Success Factors URL for different data centers. I will quickly show you what the link contains. Here you are able to see like here we have the different different data centers and the different different API URLs. Coming back to the presentation. Let's see the prerequisite. At least virtual appliance need to be configured in order to have communication between Identity Now Cloud and the SAP source. However, Cellpoint recommend to have two virtual appliance in a cluster. We require permission for test connection and aggregation. For test connection, to test the connectivity from Identity Now Cloud to SAP Success Factor source. Account aggregation to aggregate account details to Identity Now Cloud. To perform connection task, must have the following permissions. SAP API user login. Employee central HRI SOAP API must be enabled. For example, the success factor source aggregate the employee data from success factors managed system based on the PICLIS configuration, which is a configurable set of options or a selection list used to populate a data input field with one of the number of predefined value in the success factors that can be obtained. Next, for the aggregation, we require the following permissions. Manage users for employee export, metadata framework for admin access to MDF or data APIs, manage system properties for picklist management and picklist mapping setup, employee central API, Employee Central Foundation for Data API, these are the read only. Employee Central HRIS Data API, this also a read only. Manage role based access permission. In success factors, log in to the provisioning access console. Select company and navigate to company setting. Under web services, enable the following checkboxes. SF API. The SF API is the Success Factors Data API. It is a SOAP web service designed for importing and exporting data to and from the Success Factors instance. Employee Central SOAP API is also needed to en enable. To provide information about global assignment, such as dependents accompanying and an employee on a global assignment, we need to enable the enable global assignment management. And we need to enable dependent management. Once all prerequisites are met, we can proceed with the SAP SF integration. For this, you need to sign in to your tenant. Click on admin. Make sure you have admin rights. These are the knowledge base authentication. Click on connections, sources. Success factors. Here. You are able to see I have select a source type as a success factors and the connection type as a direct connection.
while configuring the source the first configuration is base configuration here you need to fill the source name source description source owner the virtual appliance cluster make sure in the virtual appliance clusters have two years here we have select the group governance group for source management as a none we can associate a source with a governance group and grant select users a sub admin user level access sub admins can perform some actions only on the source associate with the governance groups they are the member of the source and the user receiving the sub admin users level access must be associate with the governance group after filling this you need to click on save and moving towards the connection setting in the connection setting we need to fill a base url as earlier in the slide i have show you how to get the base url for a data center device once you are inputted the base url you need to provide the authentication type here we are using or 2.0 as an authentication type and the grant type as a saml bearer assertion you need to provide company id client id user id and the private key make sure the private key is extracted from the x.509 certificate from sap success factors once this is done click on the save and move towards the aggregation settings in the aggregation settings select an account type to indicate whether the source manages employee or a user in my case we are we are managing only the employees in the filter criteria for employees enable aggregate primary employment to include primary employment attribute in employee aggregation this applies to active and future data employees if we disable aggregate primary employment the source aggregate the most recent employment attributes aggregate primary employment is disabled by default here for our case uh, it is disabled by default the aggregate future employees if you want to aggregate the future hires when this is disabled you are see the x sign for us it is active we have enabled these are the some default values here we are providing minus one which means aggregate all the future hires in below these are the inactive offsets which means if we want to aggregate the inactive employees from employee records then we need to click on this select so that we can enable the aggregate employees and here you are able to see the minus one value which means aggregate all the inactive employees for a delta aggregation we are not uh, enable the delta aggregation click on save in the pick list setting the pick list is a configurable set of options or a selection list to populate a data input field having one or more predefined values in the success factor system it is basically a set and the values in a set cell point aggregates the data from the success factors managed system based on the pick list configuration cell point provides a default pick list value but we can add additional custom or standard attributes 
here we have given the different different events uh, this event uh, first for the inactive employees second one for higher employees these are the option ids for rehires we have the option ids and we are also aggregating the active employees in the picklist id mappings we have provided a picklist configuration name such as employee type picklist which state that an employee type employee status picklist which use uh, views as an employee status employee class picklist which has employee class in below we can aggregate the termination date by employee status once this is done please save the configuration and move to the additional configuration in additional setting configure the optional setting to modify the aggregation page size api server url and api timeout enter page size to specify the number of record fetch in a single call you must use a number between 200 to 800 the default value is 200 here we are providing the maximum value which is 800 enter the success factors api timeout duration in minutes the default value is 5 minutes here we are giving the api timeout value as a default once this is done you can save this in the advanced setting we have provisioning settings additional setting if we want to customize aggregation of attributes or custom attributes by defining the attribute name and the navigation part that connector uses to aggregate from the SAP success factors. SAP success factor source support provisionings of the following attribute. First one is the business phone. Second one business extension, business phone country code, username, the primary email address. The success factor source consider the primary email address and the business phone as a primary mode of communication. Here we need to give if we want to configure the provisioning configuration. For additional attribute mapping, here we need to give in the attribute mapping we need to give the schema attribute and the navigation path. We don't need to give the include compound employee API entities. And for the schema attribute here you are giving, make sure that you are giving in the account schema as well. So that in the UI, you are able to fetch the values for, from the custom attributes. Once this configuration is done, you can click on the review and the test. Once review all your settings, after reviewing, you need to click on the test connection. Please follow our socials for more technical updates.